I'm going vegan, so I guess that means that I have to start taking supplements. Well, today I'm going over the vegan supplements that I take and how they actually decreased once I went vegan. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shannon and I go over delicious food, vegan reviews, and holistic living over 40. Say hi to Misty. <laughs> All right, so I don't know about you, but when I decided to go vegan, everybody thought I'd be so deficient in everything. And I'm not exactly sure why. So today I decided to go over the vegan supplements that I use in my life. Now remember, I decided not to become a dietitian or a nutritionist. These are just the items that I personally use because they were suggested by my naturopath before she passed away. Now don't worry, I'll go ahead and leave a list of the items, items down below just in case you want to go ahead and check them out. Let's get started. And I'm going to kind of divide these things up into what I use on a daily basis, the things that I use sometimes, and then the things that I use more of when I, I'm really active or when I'm detoxing. Just kind of break things up for you. Hold on. What are you doing? So basically, I wanna go over the basics first. I know in school, we're kind of taught about the my plate and the standard American diet, and realistically, everybody doesn't eat that way. Why does she always have to do stuff when I'm doing my videos? Okay. <laughs> and I noticed when I was growing up, everybody always pushed Oh, you need to take a multiple. And by the way, they're probably gummies. Why gummies? Gummies are full of sugar and gelatin and they're, they're just, they're not that great for you. And the other thing that I know they always really pushed on us was you need to take your vitamin C. I don't know about you, but there was a huge focus on okay, now that you're vegan, you're gonna need to take protein supplements and you're gonna definitely be deficient in calcium or you're gonna be deficient in iron. And I decided to take a different path than the standard American diet. Yes, veganism is not your traditional thing. But when you look at the standard American diet, it's referred to as the sad diet for a reason. And people, <laughs> aren't concerned about that. The average person is severely deficient. They're nutrient deficient because they eat all of these junk foods and fast foods and filler foods that don't really have any nutritional substance to them. So if you're getting value out of this, please remember to hit that like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button along with that little notification bell to hear about some of my upcoming videos. And if you by chance know someone that is going vegan and they're questioning supplements, feel free to go ahead and share this video with them. Though they might get a few things out of it. <laughs> All right, so on to what you're probably waiting for, my actual supplements that I take. The basics. Let me bring all these over. Are pretty much just, oops, I forgot one thing. Now that I actually remembered all of them, let's get on to the ones that I take on a daily basis. The first one is MRM Nutrition. It is a vegan bone maximizer. And I take this one only because every single woman in my family has had either osteoporosis or osteopenia. And I just really want to make sure that I have enough calcium in my body to help support my bones, considering that I know it is something that runs in the family very highly. And what I like about this one is it not only has your calcium and magnesium in there, it also has vitamin C, D3, K2, and zinc, 
along with, uh, let's see, there an LG powder is in here. Because like I said, vegan. They have another brand, uh, another version of this that is not vegan. So it was really nice that they decided to do this. And of course, gluten-free also. The next thing that I take is my vegan D3. And this one is by Country Life. It's one that I really started taking once I started seeing my naturopath. She said that she sees even landscapers that are out in the sun all day deficient in D3. It's just something nowadays with all the chemicals in the atmosphere, with the sun and the rays and the absorption. She did a scientific type of thingy, but that's the gist of it. So for me, I personally use 5,000 IUs of this one most of the time. Sometimes I forget to take it. If I don't feel like I need it, I don't take it. If I am around people that are sick or if I feel like I'm getting sick myself, um, for me, a trigger is whenever I'm deficient in D, I get a little bit of pressure in my sinuses. And sure enough, every time she tested me, I was deficient in D. So I always make sure that I up that to 10,000, but it's usually for only like a day. And then the next thing that I took, or I take is Host Defense. It is a mushroom complex. This one is for a comprehensive immunity support. It has mataki, changa, rishi, cordyceps, uh, royal sun, turkey tail, oyster mushroom, lion's mane, artist conch, oregon rishi, shiitake, mataki, and a couple that I can't pronounce. <laughs> I started taking this when probably about a month before COVID hit. So glad I started. It's really supposed to help with your immune system. So I make sure that I definitely stick with this one. And the other thing that I take on a daily basis is Iwi. It is an omega-3, but it is from algae. So it's nice little supplement because we, all of us need our omega-3s, especially with the amount of omega-6s that are out there. And that's one nice thing at least, we don't have to deal with an extremely large amount of omega-6 now that we're vegan. So, <laughs> but those are the four things that I definitely take on a daily basis or at least try to take on a daily basis. Now, probably shouldn't have put them that far away. These are three things that I personally take because of my blood issues and if you guys are new to my channel i have for a really long time had an issue with my blood being really too thick the doctors never could really figure out why it was really thick i had any and every test done and you okay okay um <laughs> so i had any and every test done uh, even when I had my TIA at 27, they still couldn't figure out what was wrong, what was causing it. Um, that was one thing that the naturopath was able to figure out, that it was because my body is a little too sensitive to estrogen that is not my own. It's completely happy with plant, uh, plant estrogens. It is happy with my estrogens, but if it's something that I'm ingesting from another animal, through meat, dairy, uh, if I'm taking any type of birth control, forget it. Doesn't like that. So this is where I kind of have to watch things a little bit. I'm allergic to blood thinners. Of course, they're man-made. <laughs> so she put me on these. And if it's something that you have an issue yourself, you may want to look into this with your doctor. But I personally take Dr. Chi's uh, My Omen. And this one is to help more with feminine issues. It's a Chinese herbal mixture. I was taking eight of these when I first started taking them. Now that I'm vegan, I'm down to two. And sometimes it's even one. It's usually two when I have my period, but one when I'm not. So that's something that I take. For before I started the Vegan Bone Maximizer, I also took before. <laughs> I took nano knees and this just, I could tell a difference. My arms and my legs, you could actually feel the blood moving through them. And this really helped um, take the, the substitute of an actual blood thinner. 
so it's actually referred to as nano knees but it's technically k2 which is the reason why now that i have the, the vegan bone maximizer it's got k2 in it so i haven't really been taking these i might take one halfway through my period the other thing that i take is the iron and vitamin c this one is by veg life and again you're kind of noticing a theme here when i have my period <laughs> I take this one I'll notice my lips will start getting a little blue or purplish hint to them instead of their normal pink color so I'll take maybe a day or two of this and I notice right away I'm back to normal another thing that I do is I like to integrate in lentils and beets as a natural uh, supplement to boost up my blood levels on that uh, let's see okay so the next thing that I take and this is usually on Fridays and Saturdays just because it's really psycho with work is you've probably already seen it if you've seen any of my what I eat in a days that have a smoothie in it the first one is my amazing grass glow and this is their protein that has plant uh, to help build the plant collagens I like the wild berry. They have a wild berry hibiscus, a chocolate rose, and a vanilla jasmine. I think it's jasmine. Um, but it's really nice. I mean, it's got your bees in here. It's got your iron, your vitamin C's in here, protein, of course. And then when I want a little bit extra, I've got the amazing grass. This one I like to keep as a base one. It's the green superfood, the detox and digest one. They do have other flavors in there. So say if you need like a vitamin C boost, they've got like an orange flavored one. They have a lemongrass pineapple one that I've got in there. Um, the only one I suggest staying away from is their other detox one. It's more of a vegetable based one. And if I'm saying something doesn't taste good, it doesn't taste good. Um, sorry guys, I love your products. I someday sponsor maybe um, but <laughs> that one you just kind of missed the boat on that one um, all right so these are kind of I'll probably let's do the di uh, the detox ones first so if I'm feeling like maybe I got a hit of food that just didn't really t settle too well or if I've been around people that are really sick I do a couple different things sometimes depending on what it is I might take some oil of oregano one to three drops this stuff burns and make sure you put it in some water and do a shot the other thing that uh, once in a while I'll use is colloidal silver and that's just a little bit of spray um, you know depending on if it's a virus bacteria fungus those two are the things that I kind of go with and to help combat any type of detoxing symptoms, you know, nausea, bathroom, anything like that. The chelated molybdenum, always have a little bit of a problem saying that one. I've noticed that that really helps whenever I'm, like when I was first getting healthy, um, she put me on the oil of oregano and that, and it, you could tell the difference with the days that I remembered to take it with the, uh, with the oregano oil and the days that I didn't. All right, the last section is stuff that I take every now and then. So, if you're just looking for a spray, the Garden of Life My Kind Organics has a B12, vitamin C. Those are kind of nice. If I am kind of getting run down and know I need some extra help with my bees, I do the Country Life Bee Complex that maybe once or twice a month at the most if I'm exercising a lot and I have been bad and I haven't done it in a while or I'm feeling a little constipated this is really good this one is the trace minerals it is the mega mag and be very careful with this though like I said its main job for magnesium is to relax muscles it's all types of muscles so just be a little careful with that one. If you're not like me, I love having seaweed. I like my sea vegetables. 
If you're having a little bit of an issue with iodine, like in the beginning, she had me on this one, and it was the Harmonic Enterprises Nascent Iodine. Tastes like plastic, didn't like it. Thankfully, I didn't need it, and when I got up to the right level, she said, just keep supplementing with seaweed, we're good to go. The other th last thing that I love to keep on hand, and this I always do during the holidays, any type of stress, I'll take it a um, couple hours before I go to bed. And this one is holy basil. You guys probably heard when you, I was going over my story. This is Oregon's Wild Harvest Organic Basil. And this one is, or holy basil, organic holy basil. <laughs> this one I found after my marriage. When I got, was getting at the end of my marriage, I asked to be put on Prozac. You guys have heard anything about my marriage? You know why. Um, <laughs> but once I got divorced, I said, that's it. I want to get off all medications. And I have heard from an herbalist that I went to that passionflower was really good to supplement for the Prozac. So I weaned myself off of that and switched over to that. And then about a year later, I found out that holy basil worked even better than the passion flower did for me. So I always make sure I keep this on hand. So, and then lastly that I want to do is kind of give you guys a resource. You've probably heard of it before, especially when people talk about your macros, but this is also a great place to go to look to see what you might need for supplements. I definitely suggest getting your blood tested every year to see. I know for me, I get my normal panel done, I get my sugar panel done, I get my thyroid panel done, I get my STD panel done, and then now that I'm vegan, I also added in my B12 and my D levels. That's a really good way, but in the meantime, try going to chronometer.com. That will help you with all of your macros, and then all of your vitamins and minerals will also be listed at the bottom there. And this is just a way for you to kind of see where you need to adjust your food intake to help build up or decrease some of those levels. All right, everyone, I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. Just to give you a little hint, my next video coming up is going to be on Father's Day recipes. Just kind of give you a look at a recipe that I got connected to each of the three men that are father figures in my life. All right, everyone, thank you, and I hope you have a great day.